Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing the construction tool. So if I just start to move the gizmo here, you can see that we're going to be adding and removing the cubes. What we'll be adding and removing is the mesh here, as well as the material that we assign to that mesh. And then the length is set to 200. Let's say we want these to be perfectly placed next to each other. You just open up your mesh, the editor window, and you get the approx size. So this is 100 on all three. So I just set this now to 100. You see that they'll all be perfectly placed next to one another. And then if I say make it 101, we'll get a slight little gap. And then if I make it 99, you'll see that they'll start to overlap. And then we can also change the direction that we're going into. So I make this on the Y. Let's say go on the Y axis and then the Z. Go up. And then we can also adjust the rotation offset. So let's say we make this 45. Let's play with it like this way. And then the end point is this. So you don't want to pull on the uh, arrow. And set this to say maybe yeah, 15,000 if you want. You can do it that way. And you can also do tags. So I just make the tag uh, construction and go to the tag tool and do construction. See that one now select this construction actor. So obviously, you'd want to give it a more useful name, like maybe fences or. Or something like that. So yeah, that's it for the construction tool. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're watching on Twitter, be sure to like, retweet and follow. And thank you for watching.